Classroom in Blender for RTX 4080 is super. So right now I have enabled GPU compute uh, here. I enabled the noise. This is being rendered as you can see by cycles. And I'm gonna show you the GPU sensors now. We can observe the board power draw here, the chip power draw, the temperature of the GPU, right? So let's let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna move things around here. So first of all, let's look at this frame rate. I don't know what the frame rate is, but this is just real time. This is just like next to real time, you know? It's next to real time. And you can select an object, just move it, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> it just <laughs> it's all ray traced. It's all just real time ray traced. Just so like I mean, it's not yet. You know, it's not yet real time in such a way that you could make a game out of it, but I mean, this is ridiculous. Just to set up a scene in 3D, you know, it's it's like, yeah, I can immediately see what I'm gonna get when I render this. You know, so that's pretty amazing. And I'm gonna click render now. Let's go like 9 seconds. Bonk, bonk. Where's my camera? I don't know what happened to my camera. Well, I don't know. We are in the cycles now. So it looks like this. If I switch to CPU, I'm gonna show you the and here the fans going. All CPU cores are hundred percent. They are thinking, you know, and it says here oh, look how much time it takes to render number of samples. So if you render on CPU you may want to re reduce number of samples so we just doesn't torture CPU so much. See on CPU, this is what you get on CPU. You don't get really real time. This is as much as you get. You know? So similar performance to MacBook Air to uh, GPU. When it comes to real time performance. But I mean, why would I be using CPU if I can just go ahead and use GPU? <coughs> <laughs> this is mad. This is really, really mad. I love that. I love that. Yay.